A waqf is something that you purchase, that you buy, and it's not for anyone except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For the Muslims to benefit from, and you leave it for the Muslims to continue benefiting from while you reap the ajr, the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if we wanted to calculate this in terms of square feet, we're looking at right now 87,000 square feet. When we did the math to this, this would come out to $15 per square feet. So if you wanted to purchase, for example, 10 square feet, that would be $150. You gave $150 for 10 square feet for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That will remain here, that Muslims will continue to benefit from even after you are long gone. Even while you are in your grave and you can do nothing else for yourself. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, إِذَا مَاتَ إِبْنُ آدَمْ إِنْ قَطَعَ عَمَلُهُ إِلَّا مِنْ ثَرَدْ That when the son of Adam dies, all of his deeds are cut off with the exception of three. One of those three is a sadaqa jadiyah, is an ongoing charity that he leaves behind that people can benefit from. Number two is ilmu nafi'un yuntafa'u bi is beneficial knowledge that people continue to benefit from even after you're gone. And the third is waladun salih yad'u lahu is a righteous child that will make dua for you. And subhanallah, if we establish Tarbiya school and Masjid Isa ibn Maryam here in this area, we can reap all three of those benefits in that hadith. Number one, we leave behind a sadaqa jariya. We leave behind a building that will continue even after we are long gone. Muslims will continue to come in here and pray. Muslims will continue coming here to get educated even after we are long gone. So that's number one, we reap the benefit of a sadaqa jariya. Number two, beneficial knowledge that we leave behind that will be benefited from even after we're gone. Think about the education that goes on here. The Islamic education, the secular education that goes on here. And all of the Muslims that benefit from the knowledge that is disseminated here and will take that abroad in their lives. And number three, a righteous child that will make dua for you. Perhaps we may not have spent enough time with our children in their lives, but we built a school for them. We've provided them a place to, to make prayer and to worship and to read Quran and to make dua. Perhaps one of the duas that our children will make here in this masjid is for us. So with this hadith, we, with this building, with the acquisition of this building and this place, this property, we reap all three benefits that are in that hadith. And with 80,000 square feet, we can, that averages out to $15 per square feet. So if you wanted to purchase 10 square feet, that would be $150. And if you wanted to purchase 20 square feet, that would be $300. 20 square feet that belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are purchasing from non-Muslims the earth that we are using for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That wallahi, you will not find a, a greater business transaction than this. And we encourage the believers to uh, take advantage of this opportunity because the fact of the matter is that many of us do not have a, a, a whole bunch of good deeds that we are going to you know, rely on and that is going to guarantee us paradise. Because many of the good deeds, they have to be, they have to be scrutinized, they have to be looked at, they have to be interviewed. Was there enough ikhlas? Was there enough sincerity in the deed? Was the deed done, you know, properly? There are a lot of conditions to the deeds that have to be looked at. But we can make our intentions pure and we can purchase this property that belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and purchase it for the believers so that they have a place to get educated and they have the place to worship and we reap our benefit with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hereafter. وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين